Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today we have a really quick video for you guys. Uh, we've got more maintenance on the F10. This is a really, really easy upgrade for you guys. So basically what we have is I reached out to Arc Terminator. Uh, they actually are creating a new ground strap cable for our BMW F10s. So if you guys uh, don't know, uh, some of the older generation BMWs have an issue, uh, of course, electrical gremlins and things of that nature, and some of it, it, it ends up being your grounding cable. Well, on the F10, the grounding cable actually runs in the transmission tunnel. It's exposed to all the elements, and so it's easily corrodible and all that sort of thing. It's a braided cable. So this is a really cool upgrade for you guys. Just maintenance, it, it, it helps to make sure that your electrical system is receiving all the voltage that it needs. Uh, so if you guys have not seen the install on this, check out my, bu my boy Eddie. He's actually got his channels called Turbo Spool. He does a excellent video on how to get this installed. Funny enough, I actually had to go out to his channel just to check out this video. So I'm not gonna go through all that installation. I just wanna show you guys the cable, uh, but you guys go out there, make sure you guys follow him as well. Check out the installation and when you're ready to do this, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what we have. Of course, we still have the car in the air. I just finished swapping out uh, the diverter valve. So I still have the undercover and things that, of that nature off. So it's an easy access for me right now. This is the new cable that actually comes from Arc Terminator. Uh, this is actually, I mean, this is a heavy duty. This is a welded gauge wire. I think it's about a two gauge wire, uh, if not larger, um, as opposed to the braided cable that comes from BMW. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump underneath here. I'm going to get the old cable pulled out. That way we can put it side by side and show you the difference. And then I will reinstall. But again, if you guys really want to see how this is done, check out Eddie's video. Be back with you guys here in just a moment. Now, one thing I forgot to mention before uh, you do this install, you either want to disconnect the battery, which I chose to do, or to uh, connect a jumper cable up front from ground to a ground on your vehicle. Eddie goes into a little bit more detail just to show you guys how to do that, but I just decided just to disconnect the battery. It was no big deal. So here we go. We've got the uh, old braided cable pulled off and you can actually see just the discoloration here it's kind of turned a little bit of a, a green color uh this here it was not as exposed to as much um as far as the um the climate and everything but you can kind of see how dark this is uh so this is what is known to fail especially on a lot of the e-series e bmws uh so we're just going to go ahead and slap in this beefier uh, cable that, uh, that should not have this issue. A lot, a lot more um, shielding, uh, just better insulated. Uh, this is, is a really nice uh, fit and finish, really nice cable. So I'm gonna get this swapped out now. Uh, and that's it guys. So hopefully this was a really quick video for you guys. We've got the cable reinstalled, negative battery terminal connected again, and I got the car back down on the ground. So just a little maintenance piece, just to help us try to avoid any of those electrical gremlins in the future. Uh, like I said, I could see some corrosion happening on the, the braided cable that came uh, from the OEM from factory. So I'm glad I did this upgrade. Uh, if you guys want to, like I said, dig in deep with this install, make sure you go out, check out Eddie's video. It's Turbo Spool. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video to his channel and to that video so that you guys can check it out. Uh, other than that, you guys be safe and we'll catch you guys in the next video.